If you are seeing this color of your screens, well, you should be sad because it's only in your mind and eyes. There's nothing physically out there as purple. But why do you see it then? Intro. When seeing a color, we go through a simple process. First of all, what it is that you think of what is a color. Scientifically, colors are just different wavelengths of the visible electromagnetic radiations. The wavelength is just the distance between the amplitude peaks of the wave. The red light, for example, has a wavelength of about 700 nanometers and the blue light has a wavelength of about 470 nanometers. The same goes for all the other colors. The distinct colors which are present in the electromagnetic spectrum are the ones you see in a rainbow. Now there is no purple in the electromagnetic spectrum. So in the actual world, it just doesn't exist out there. But this is not as strange because similarly there is no white or the black on the electromagnetic spectrum. Where white is when you see all the colors at once and black when you see nothing. Now here's another thing to consider. If it's not there, why do you see it anyway? Purple is a mix of red and blue. The reason your eye see it just as any other color is related to what's going inside it. Now when light hits an object, say a banana, the object absorbs some of the light and reflects the rest of it. So which wavelengths are reflected or absorbed depend on the property of the object. So when you look at a banana, the wavelengths of the reflected light determine what color you see. Now the reflected light enters your eyes through the pupil, which determines how much light should enter your eye by dilating or contracting it. So uh, when the light enters your eye, it hits the back side of the eye where your retina is. Now this is where the cones come in. Now cones are one type of photoreceptor cells. Now the tiniest cells in the retina that respond to light. Most of us have about 6 to 7 million cones and almost all of them are concentrated on the 0.3 mm spot on the retina called the fovea centralis. Not all of these cones are alike. About 64% of them respond most strongly to the red light, about third are set up most by the green light and another 2% respond among strongest to the blue light. That's why red, green, blue are the primary colors. The human eye can only detect these three colors. Okay, how about orange color? It's right there in the electromagnetic spectrum. But our eyes have only primary color detecting cells. So how do you see the difference between a pure orange light straight out of the spectrum and a mixture of red or a green light? Well, a human eye really cannot tell a difference between the pure orange light from the electromagnetic spectrum and a light which is a mixture of red and green. Physically, the difference, uh, if you were to differentiate between the light, you could use a prism. The pure orange light from the electromagnetic spectrum would not split into anything. However, the one which is a mixture would split into red and green. So whatever our eye see is just because of these combination of the primary colors. Now, this is the same way the, our computer screens produce the colors, just as the one you are seeing right now. If you could zoom into the pixels of your device right now, you would see three long panels of three different colors. The red, green and blue. The RGB. So all the colors and all the images you see are actually just from these three colors. We as humans have only three types of these color detecting cells, but other mammals have lesser than us, uh, less than three. But some birds like the hummingbird can actually have more. They have four types of these photodetector cells. Now the fourth one is for the ultraviolet light. So we can't even imagine that. <laughs> Sadly, most mammals have less than three. So the next time you see a goddamn orange object, just remember that the, what kind of shit is going on in your eyes. Well, so that's it guys for this one. I hope you guys liked the video. Smash like, hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.